Uh, I actually know. Russian know. guy who plays Devo. <laughs> That's all I know. Anyway, he's a good guy for hosting the channel because this is like way more viewers than we usually get. And we are live here with Hunter Season around. 3 Gold Cycle 2 or Losers Bracket Round 2 match. Yeah, between Solar Club and Catman Champions. Obviously, this game was remade, and that's why this drafting phase is going so quickly. So, I'm going to introduce my co casters here. What you got, and Beaver Banger from Team Nullstone Gaming. That's good. They've, uh, they've been here before. Don't need to have them say anything. Let's just talk about picks here. Rhapsody, Malakin, Bubbles, Madman, and Tempest for the Legion side. Gauntlet, Repulsor, Kraken, Nymphora, and Parasite for the Elborn side. Obviously, we don't have legitimate bands, but let's go to Beaver Banger first. Lineup thoughts. Very quickly. Uh, I like I like Hellborn's team a lot. I'm really annoyed because Soapplay keeps making it. Soapplay wasn't even banned this game. I I, I don't know that hero. I don't know if that's actually legitimate because it's we don't know. It's it was remade. It was oh yeah, I, I guess so. <laughs> yeah. but I like the DR nymph combo coming out from Solar Club. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Anything else? What you got? What you got? What you got? What you got? Uh, I was he was he took what I wanted to say. I like the really aggressive draft that Hellborn picked. So uh, hopefully they can play the draft right and just be super super aggressive and uh, not let Smalikin get any farm. Right. What and skin is that? On it's him. the ultimate ultimate Malakin skin. Okay. We don't I don't see it too often, but yeah. He just looks like a dude. Oh, is this the uh, pride one or whatever? Like the virtues? I think it's called humility. humility? And yeah, 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 it's the um, seven yeah, virtue the virtues. things. Uh, anyway, so Legion side protecting the jungle here. And uh, anyway, lineup thoughts. Okay, Tempest. They've got that suicide madman. Mid bubbles. Rhapsody Malakin bot. Hmm? I actually the like uh, Legion team's composition. They're pretty good. You do. I was going to say, they look, seem like they like, I mean, they have Bubbles Initiation, but other than that, they have Malakin and Madman. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know. I like the melee stunners like Magnus, Pebbles, Rally, even. Instead of having a Malakin and a Madman. What do you think, Chris? Yeah, um, when it gets to the mid-game, Legion's, Legion's lineup might suffer a little bit with Initiation, and uh, the Hellborn have uh, Kraken and Dr. Repulsor. We'll have to see. Yeah. I don't know, I feel like the mobility on the Legion side is going to be a big issue. Yeah, Malakin, Madman, Bubbles, all really, really difficult heroes to catch, so... Hellborn side, do they have enough lockdown? Parasite, not so much. Kraken's got the ultimate, which is nice, but... It's a longer cooldown, I'm not sure how much that's going to last. Nymphora Zeal is done hard to hit. Gauntlet, yeah, I guess, a fair bit, but... Uh, and Doctor a fair bit as well, but... I don't know, there aren't that many reliable stuns in the Hellborn team. And... I just feel like Bubbles, Malakin, and Madman are going to be in and out of these fights so much that it's going to be really difficult for Solar Club to you know, lock them down and actually kill them. Although, I guess same thing pretty much goes for the Legion side as well. You got Repulsor or Kraken. They don't have many stuns, except for yeah. the... I got Tempest, that's just about it, and the Rhapsody, of course. Anyway, uh, lanes here are Madman Suicide, so no surprise there, with Dr. Repulsor and Amphora in the top lane. So obviously Doctor, with that babysitter, should have a nice landing phase. This is, of course, where where he's relatively weak. Before he gets level 6, can get jumped and killed, but Madman not going to present too much danger, especially not with that Nymph 4 next to him. And I'm expecting a pretty dominant performance here from Cannondorf on the Doctor Repulsor. What do you guys think? Yeah, I mean, especially with the Nymph 4 behind him. Uh, one thing I want to say, though, is they seem crack and suicide. And I don't like that. Mm -hmm. And I think maybe, a, I don't know who was banned or not, but like another hero I think would have been better if they didn't draft the gauntlet and maybe picked another hero that would them on the suicide lane so they could have sent Kraken solo middle. Right. Because they have going solo mid right now, which I think they could have definitely, well, I don't know the, the picks of the band, of the band, so I can't really say. Yeah. But I mean, you're right. Like Kraken suicide, it's just not that good. All over the place and pause coming through. We all have auto skip pause turned on, right? Yep. Should be. Yep. You, you'll be able to tell if uh, if you didn't skip the pause then. Yeah, it's good. It's <laughs> pretty obvious. All right. So yeah, Kraken Suicide versus Rhapsody and Malakin in this bottom lane currently sitting at 69 GPM, so absolutely zero CS for this Kraken. Yeah. And again, 
going to miss a deny. He currently has no denies either. He has zero last hits. Meanwhile, and he's Alvin, not even just trying to trade hits with that Rhapsody. Yeah. He just kind of went around. Getting poked at. And actually, top lane number four taking a bunch of damage from this Madman. Does Madman get Bloodlust? Okay, body blocks from Parasite, and now it's going to be a counter on the Madman. And Antalicious on the Parasite. Can he get the Bloodlust kill? Really, really good start there for Solar Club. Almost killing that Nymphora would have been a much bigger deal, but... Uh... Anyway. Suicide Madman dying there. Can't do that. One thing you can't do is a Suicide Sky. Yeah. Nice rotation from Parasite, securing yeah. that kill. And a Revward, too, from uh, Hank on the Nymphora. Pretty critical, of course. The stock, Madman, very difficult to lock down. And really, with rewards or dust, like, do you guys feel like that just totally counters a suicide Madman? Kraken actually might be dead here. Yeah, I was looking at that too. The staccatos are there, a couple more autos are gonna finish him off. He's got no charge. It's gonna be a kill. Tempest, pick what up were the last you hit. Uh, I was gonna say, like, do you guys feel yeah. dust? And or a rev just totally counters Madman, or is it the extra stock move speed to let him still be okay? I mean, if you land your spells on him with the dust, and the, yeah, then he's definitely. Yeah. But that barrel roll can just join a lot of things, which is yeah. pretty annoying. Is indeed. And we saw mid lane a little bit there. Gauntlet going after bubbles, and bottom lane Gauntlet will or bubbles will pick up the refreshment rune. It's interesting because Legion have a word of sight in bottom lane, and I would figure that Bubbles would be able to control runes better than the Gauntlet with his Shell Surf. So he had to have known that the rune was top. And maybe you just think a little bit too risky there with Gauntlet going for it and Parasite possibly coming in, but Bubbles once again getting hooked in. And it's dropped very, very low. He is now out of bottle charges, and Gauntlet gonna pop the regen, so he will be just fine. 274 GPM on Gauntlet compared to 227 on Bubbles, and Gauntlet definitely having the CS advantage as well. Does that surprise oh, no. you guys? Yeah, on top Crack lane. bottom. Actually, they will get the kill there, and we'll see if Madman will go down here. Crack and bottom, meanwhile, did die, of course. And mid lane, Bye. Jesus Christ, Bubbles dying as well. I keep focusing on Madman because he's in a lot of trouble, and he's still so slow, no boots, he's dead. Everyone goes down, Leech is there as well, and they pick up the kill. So I managed to get one of those three kills, but stuff going on all over the place. I was just about to say, I'm kind of surprised that Gauntlet's beaten this bubble so badly. I feel like he should be able to take cover the grapple, and... Yeah, well, I mean, Gauntlet, he got the region rune, which can help a lot, and right. Bubbles kept going. Like, there's a grapple again. He keeps getting those grapples. Yeah. You might be a little ahead of me there, but the grapple into the Infernal stability and the Enfeeble going down, and Bubbles using a Shell Surf already. Gauntlet will back off, but he comes back from base and immediately has no health. And yeah. has to use all his bottle charges. But, like, before even the regen ran, Gauntlet was winning this lane. Mm -hmm. As bottom lane actually again, Kraken in a lot of trouble. Staccato Sun's going down everywhere. No charge for a couple more seconds. One more auto. New Forest is not going to be able to get him the move speed necessary. That's, uh, Nymph's Grace or whatever. Yeah. Middle lane. That Gauntlet, man. 20 health. Less than 20 health. And he's still, yeah. yeah, 10 HP. Bubbles tried to do a man up, and uh, his face, all his face, yeah. pretty much. Parasite gonna get inside of this Ballista, and now they might actually turn this on to Madman, who has a bottle, so he will be okay. Parasite getting very, very low. So, action going on in all these lanes. Uh, let's go back to Bubbles and, and go for a second, though. Um, you were saying something, Beaver Yeah, Bubbles tried manning up and kelping going to the tower, but mm -hmm. he, uh, <clears throat> he didn't run back when going ran at him, so he got hit by the instability, the fist. Right. And the fist pretty much took him down from half of his HP to zero. Right. And, I mean, like, like I was saying though, before even the regen rune happened, Gauntlet was winning this lane. Like, he was beating him in CS, and well, he was forcing him out of lane pretty effectively. But, I don't yeah, feel like I that should happen. No, especially not against the bubbles with Gauntlet. Right. Action bottom, about yeah. to happen. I, I think so too. Rhapsody here sitting with an invis rune. And they definitely want something. Nymphora has finally rotated, so they're going to bring in actually a second port, but Rhapsody's going to spot all this out. I don't think she sees the gauntlet yet, but she definitely sees the repulsor. And it looks like Malakin will back off here. Or at least he was going to try, but here comes Repulsor in, and the stuns go out all over the place. He drops the ultimate, and there's a response. Actually, beautiful hook from Gauntlet, and he will get another kill. So Jismin here on this uh, gauntlet, just doing all sorts of work. 
Infernal Instability wants something, but the rest of the Legion side has rotated as well. Here's Tempest, cracking to be a lot of trouble as the Glacial Blasts go down onto him, and he's definitely going to fall. Ends up being a one-for-one one there, probably in favor of the Hellborn side as they trade their Suicide Kraken for the opponent's opposing team's short lane, Malakin. But, uh, 350 gold per minute on Malakin, he's not doing bad. Even better, Tempest at 380, 2-0-0. And Bubbles also, also rotates, but top lane, meanwhile, Parasite is kind of farming away. And, anyway... Yeah. That's kind of a weird rotation from Dr. Repulsor, though. I mean, of course he gets right. six and gank and all, but like he's their safe lane carry and he's below 300 GPM with three assists and, th and even got the first blood. Mm -hmm. So it's a little it's a little weird. He actually picked up a blood chalice, which is... Right. Yeah, I, Especially with I, I find that a little strange, but... Especially with a Nymphora teammate, I find it even a little bit more strange. Yeah. Like, if he's hurting for regen that badly, he can sort of live through it for now. Maybe even get some Hellflower build up, and that'll help him out a little bit. But more importantly is the, you know, the mana. Grace the Nymph, there we go, from Nymphora. So, I don't know, maybe he felt like since she left and went bottom, he needed the Chalice for more mana. Meanwhile, well, middle lane actually cracking to be a lot of trouble, as the barrel will finish him off. Bubbles now can't really go to the bottom rune, as they have the cutoff from Nymph, and he's very, very low, but he will be able to bottle up. And he should be just fine. Mid tower actually be pressured a fair bit as they clean up the creep way beyond the tier one tower, and it'll take some damage from the catapult. The Hellborn well destroyed a legion tower. Tower is not as well. Tempest level eight here, looking to push the bottom tier one. And wouldn't be surprised if they get this kill. He's got elementals at the ready. Middle lane, meanwhile, actually nymph dies as I just caught nothing. So Gollum wants to set something up on bottom, but he has to be careful because Tempest does have a hole. It looks like they actually might kill the Tempest right away. Yeah, Gauntlet Blast there. On to him, and here comes Doctor in. They got Staccato's locking him down, though, and the ulti from Tempest actually does not go off. And they will kill him right off the bat. Doctor trying to get away. That'll happen. Face Hug goes on to Malakin. They're going to kill him as well, so they lose the uh, Gauntlet in the beginning. But they managed to kill both Malakin and Tempest. Very, very valuable here. And Parasite might go for Rhapsody, but that's yeah. pretty dangerous here. I don't think he's going to win this fight. And one more auto oh, shell Oh, Bubbles surf. did not go oh, to his he didn't port. Yeah. What was that? That would have been kill. Port, he would have been in auto attack range, and that would have been a kill. So, laser killing here on uh, this Catman Champions team. What you got and I were discussing it before the cast. Tagged up a Solaire yeah. Club, and... Uh, might be a, an inside man throwing games. <laughs> he I could don't know. be a spy, but we don't know. I'm just saying, it's very possible. Because, let's see, probably shouldn't have lost middle lane, did lose middle lane to Gauntlet, and now here, just throwing away kills on Parasite? I don't know. I'm, I'm suspicious. Stuff. Uh, oh, that was a nice take cover, though. Yeah. Am I ahead of you? Yeah, by about maybe three or four seconds. I'm at 10, 45, 46, 47, 48. Yeah, I'm at 51, 52. Yeah, here. I know, just pause for like a second or two and it'll be back. Alright, I'm at 58, 59. Yeah, now you're right on track. It's sometimes... Well, then I gotta, I gotta catch back up. ...has some issues with like, after the load, after the drafting phase, it'll occasionally take a second or two longer for different people. What time are you guys up. at? 11, 12, 11, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And it looks like we have a team 20, fight. 20. Yep. Yeah, you're on a track here too. Okay. Looks like we might have a team fight brewing here middle. And it's Gauntlet's in the woods looking for something. Parasite coming in with a Skeleton King. Has to be careful Tempest? about this. They will get the Tempest again. And he's going to... That was a very nice hit. Uh, the Legion had destroyed yeah, a Hellborn Tower. And the Doctor what? comes in with the Ludicrous Speed. They really want to kill this Tempest, but an uh, ultimate from Rhapsody. They will get him anyway. Off the side here. Dust of Revelation goes off. That's going to catch out Rap. Staccatos aren't going to stop Gauntlet because it's only on Parasite. That's going to be a second kill. Army of Bombs on the, on the Kraken fell in the meantime. Malakin here with the ulti form wants something, but he's going to get stunned out actually. Already used the sword throw, and that's not going to end well for him. The Doctor out of mana. He's going to fall. Parasite also going to die to the stock. Ends up being a 3 for 3 so far. Gauntlet and Nymphora alive compared to Bubbles and Madman. And they still want more. Nymph going to be in some trouble. Misses the zeal actually entirely. And Shell Surf will help clean him off. Now Gauntlet also in some trouble. Gets the Infernal Instability. Is he going to be able to kill Bubbles? No. Oh, he does! <laughs> so it's a. Uh, Dual genocide, I guess, is what. 
one thing about that fight though, Tempest is being way too aggressive in this position. He yeah. is like up at the tower and yeah. Like yeah, and and he had the astrolabe before they went to push, so it looked like you know Legion was ready to take that team fight and just crush. But very nice hook coming out from Gauntlet. And I mean, he's been like Gauntlet's been on point with these hooks. He's hit like every single one I've seen even sometimes at weird angles and stuff, and that gauntlet hook is not necessarily easy to land. You can't really target it, so. Yeah, and uh, Dr. Pulse actually picked up a mana ring. I looks like he might be going for the icon. icon. Yeah, it's gotta be. But you don't really need an icon with an Amphora. I mean, it's always a good item on Dr. Pulse, but... I mean, the only thing I think of is they are pretty heavy mana users without too much natural regen or high base mana. I mean, Gauntlet's got three castable spells that he likes to spam, Kraken's got a bunch of spells he likes to spam, Parasite even, to use the extra mana, so if they're going to group up and fight a whole lot, mana regen could be really, really good. Actually, top lane, they will get the face hug onto Madman, that'll be a kill, as a dust came out, and of course they saw him with the invis. But the question is, why do they want to team fight against this Legion team? Like, they don't want to group up and push, they want to get a pick, and then... Or, or two picks, and then push. So I feel like the yeah. mana ring is really valuable if you want to be grouped up all the time, because obviously it, it's, you know, probably yeah, everybody else. I just, against the Legion's teams, like Malakin, Bubbles, Tempest, I mean Madman, and even Tempest, like, I think a Hellflower would be, I think, a better choice. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, Chris, what do you think? Like, I think that with an M4, a Hellflower would be better than an Icon here. Well, my first thought was that I actually liked the Icon, because the, the draft that they they picked was to be a very aggressive pickoff draft, so the icon would allow him to like snowball a little bit. But you made a good point about the Hellflower, and thinking about it that way, I think it is. I think it would be the better choice because they are going to need um, that right click late game presence and Doctor's the Hero on their team to do that. So I think I think you're right. The Hellflower would be better. As the Ancient's being stolen here, but Malakin going to drop the ulti, and so is Tempest. That's going to be at least one kill. Facehug stops it, but it was pretty much already going, and the release crack in the background catches Karax. So actually they will die, or the rest of the Hellborn, really, Legion team. And they do kill Jisman on that gauntlet, as well as Antilicious on the Parasite. So Malakin looking to chase this down. Sword Throw with Slow does not connect on the uh, Kraken, but it looks like he might actually have the autos to just walk him down here. He's hitting really, really hard, yeah, almost Malakin. coming through as well. And he's hasted, actually, plus the Portal Key, so that's going to be another kill. PK bubbles already. That was actually really fast, considering how bad he was doing in middle lane. Yeah, yeah he kind of rushed it, though. He has still red boots. Yeah, he has no build-up items, so... Yeah. I'm okay with it. But still... Yeah, on, on, bubble, on here, like, bubbles, it's okay. Do that sometimes. Like, I mean, if he can just jump in and get those Kel fields onto a whole bunch of people, since Tempest doesn't have a portal key and isn't going to have one for a long time if he ever gets one, especially with the Kraken ultimate and stuff, you might think, oh, maybe it's not the greatest idea. And a gauntlet, for that matter. See, Malakin's in a bad spot right now. The forest yeah. spotted him. And there really goes easy. Doctor. And this is going to be a lot of trouble. Zeal. Zeal. There's one, and we'll see if Bubbles can get out of this. He doesn't have enough mana, obviously, taking all sorts of damage from heroes. But he gets the creep block, and he's nope, okay. not going to happen. That was way too greedy. Yeah. That was yeah, very greedy of uh, Malakin and, and Bubbles to be there. They got spotted before. They tried to do that earlier. They tried to steal Ancients, and Nymphora came in with a gank, and they ended up cleaning up the fight. But, like, they have to realize, oh, that happened before. Either they have vision of this, or they're scouting it, or whatever. Like, if we got, if we tried to do that before, and got jumped, why, why do you think you can do it now? Yeah. Anyway, mid-tier 1 tower will be pressured by the Hellborn side, and the Legion will kind of push a little bit with Madman at the top lane. The Hellborn well have destroyed a Legion tower. Like Rhapsody sent down there, and there you go, more Ancient stealing. Triple stacked Ancients on the Legion side are going to be taken. That's humongous if they yeah. get these. And there's going to be no yeah, response. going to be a big gold swing. Doctor getting Hellborn. almost all of those. And Nymph TP actually going into the bottom lane, so they're going to look for this Rhapsody kill. Gauntlet's here, and there's going to be Gauntlet blast after the portal key. Easy kill. So there you go, Doctor cleaning up those Ancients, and he's at 440 gold per minute. It's always hard playing against a hero like number 4, just the global presence from that hero, is, it makes it really hard. If you fall behind, it makes it really hard to be able to form at all. And you look at the partners for her too. Like, this Hellborn team is just full of people, and I was side here, Parasite gonna help catch- No, the Gauntlet Hook! Hits Parasite instead of Tempest, it's not gonna matter. 
He can only stun one person, no ulti anyway, and no follow-up there. So, Doctor actually jumps on in, and did he get the charge? No, he has no charges on his icon. That's a bit unfortunate. So, um, Parasite chose to go for the Codex route. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I like it. The uh, Legion team has um, a Madman and a Malakin. Ooh, specifically the madman for the reveal yeah and then um even the malakin if he mana burns the malakin mm -hmm. that's going to be most of his mana pool and then he's not going to be able to do too much in team fights yeah and we almost never see the codex build either and this is of course what you got a jungle player providing the jungle insight knows what he's talking yeah, about yeah i've so. i've gone the codex build from time to time but puzzle box is just more so the standard now right and now he's upgrading it too. I think he just went level right. two. So oh, he needs ghost marchers. I know. Yeah. Like, do you think even if he went ghost marchers here, is the upgraded puzzle box the correct choice? Do they want to just try to burst this madman before, or or the upgraded codex? I mean, or does he go with puzzle box now? Because he's not going to have it for a while if he tries to go with puzzle box. Well, three three five GPM, he might be okay. I don't know. I'd still like to see the puzzle box here, I think, instead of the upgraded codex. What do you think? Uh, yeah. The yeah, I mean, the level 1 is fine power. if they want to just do ganks, but the puzzle box is just so good here. The Legion yeah. have destroyed a Hellborn tower. Puzzle box is just so much better than codex in general. Mm -hmm. It's going to enhance their pushing potential, of which they do not have much. And... Honestly, they have some potential for accidental mauler kills as well. Like, one of my favorite things to do is like against is pick up puzzle box against like a moon queen because she can't control the bounces from her ultimate or the multi strike. So a lot of the right. time you can like accidentally kill the mauler, take 800 true damage or whatever it is, and you just get crushed. So with you know bubbles, tempest, malakin even a little bit, the legion have there's some the AOE tower. damage there that they may not be able to control very well. And yeah, uh, me and Beaver were playing a TMM the other day, and uh, I was Parasite with a puzzle, and we were against the Chipper, and I just put my puzzle box minions on the saw blades, and right. then it killed the Chipper, and he couldn't do anything about it. Right. And it's mid lane. Hellfield gonna catch Kraken, but he'll just run away, so... That's a big cooldown used, actually. 94 seconds now left on that Kelpfield from Bubbles, and... I don't know. A bit questionable. But we haven't seen a Tempest ultimate either in a long, long time. And I feel like they need to do something. Use that to get a kill somewhere. But yeah, Nymph for it. Meanwhile, Madman, dead. So, once again, that hero, man. Even Dr. Repulsor flying in, but he yeah. wasn't needed there. He only has two charges on his icon. He's had this item for a long time now. And they've gotten a bunch of kills, but it's never been him around. Like, Nymph needs to take Doctor with them. Instead of yeah, like these other heroes, Doctor can certainly kill people at this point, especially some of these squishier heroes. I mean, Rhapsody has 800 health, not even. Bubbles is a thousand. Madman's got 13, 47. Tempest 12. Yeah, I agree. Especially with the stun from Nymphora, it should be an easy kill. Yeah. This is a really high death game. Yeah. 18 to Except 19. Except for Rhapsody, their support actually has the lowest amount of deaths <laughs> on the Legion team. He's looking to fix that. Yeah, earlier when we were trying to talk about stuff, there was like kills happening in all three lanes. <laughs> it, was, it was pretty intense. Yeah. He's, uh, any phase is very active, no doubt, uh, as we move closer into the mid game. Do you guys favor. I mean, like, I think I favor the Hellward side pretty heavily at this point, but as we go late, like, I don't know if Malakin's gonna be able to catch up. And he's not even that far behind, I'm just, like, saying, is he gonna be able to beat them late game? Like... Well, they do have oh, a Tempest definitely. Also. Yeah. 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 I mean, once this hero gets a shrunken head, he does insane amounts of damage just by being alive. Well, Same Hellboy's guy. team is all about making those picks to make stuff happen, so... Yeah, I mean, but, like, they've got like... a Tempest, but they have Kraken to Tempest cancel, and they have Gauntlet to Tempest cancel, and both of those heroes have four And there's you in the background, Wiz Kraken right in Tempest's face, so he's gonna have to get out of this. He needs to drop an ultimate here, they're all there right, oh. a beautiful hole. 
they're all getting caught, and that's what I was waiting for. Is that that was a really bad crack in ultimate. It was nice they got yeah. the Tempest, but way, way too early. It needs to cancel the ultimate. And we see a buyback coming in from Parasite, who wants his bubbles. He's not gonna kill him, and he dies. So the dieback from Parasite, and here comes Nymphora, who re revealed herself, but that's not gonna end very well. And Kendra up in the background dies too. Genocide. Well, one thing, Kraken went in pretty much when the tower was dead. Yeah. So he kind of just jumped in. He, I don't know. He jumped in like way beyond his team. team. And yeah. he did it into four heroes on the Legion side. The Legion has and he dropped an ultimate on Tempest sure. before he had countered the whole. So. And then also, Parasite used his face hug to stop the Rhapsody ultimate. Right. So then, they also didn't have that to cancel the Tempest all either. A Hellborn barracks has been destroyed. I don't know. That was really, looks, really bad. That looks like it's game right there. <laughs> yeah. A Hellborn barracks has been destroyed. Like, that was an enormous swing. I mean, before that, it was relatively even in golden experience. And now, over an 8k gold lead, 4.5k experience lead, they lost mid racks. Everybody in Hellborn is below 400 GPM. You got two above 400 and one above 500 on the lead side. And, and Kraken, Kraken Kraken's has items look so funny. Yeah. They're just yeah. the steam boots and a portal key. I mean, like that's what I think. I feel like that's what he needs to be right now. He needs to be blank alt the tempest when he tries to alt. Like that just that's what he has to do every time. Either that or gauntlet. Hat. Like they have to pick one of them. Like you're gonna cancel the tempest ultimate because I don't think that they were doing that last fight. At least it didn't seem like it. I think the portal key on Kraken is nice, but I think he would have benefited better if he were to just like bulk up. Because they have um, the Doctor and then the Gauntlet with the portal key. So I, I don't think they lack on initiation at all. No. So I kind of disagree with him actually just rushing the portal key. Obviously it's nice to have one, but I think he could have went for some uh, build up and stuff like that. And it's not yep, and then 42 bubbles. There's the stun from the hook and the gauntlet blast. I think maybe we can finish off. Yeah, and for a zeal there helps get the kill. And laser killing falls once again over here. Madman gonna pour it out and he's gonna be able to make it. Did he, did he actually get the codex off? Yeah. I don't know if Parasite or if he took the codex damage there. It felt like he didn't get hurt very badly. Oh well. Not gonna be a kill in either case. I think it's not about initiation for crack, and I think it's again the counter initiation is <laughs> a courier dies the illusions. <laughs> and Malakin wow. is a carry. It's a carry. He doesn't farm very fast, but right. he's insane. Late game, yeah. he's really something you don't want to. You don't want to go against a really farm Malakin, especially with. Here, uh, yeah, sorry. Go ahead. No. Yeah, go ahead. I was gonna say just especially with the uh, splash autos inside of Tempest Hole yeah. and Kelp Field with that range form. Kind yeah, he does yeah, a lot of that things. passive. Does a lot That's of work. Awesome. Yeah. And you're saying, yeah, a hero that typically doesn't farm very well, but he's at 500 gold per minute. So, if he's going to get up to that level, and he's going to get some ridiculous items, 8, 4, and 8 here, then that's going to be difficult to deal with. What the Shrunken? Yeah, the Shrunken's not bad against. It's pretty good against that team. Yeah. Tempest has nice a portal key. I don't know if we commented on that, and he's working yeah. on his shrunken right now. He's getting pretty close. Yeah. Tempest is doing pretty well with this farm. Yeah. 410 GPM. Definitely not bad. 5, 4, and 7. And he's had a nice time in the jungle as well. 140 CS actually leads the game. So. He's been farming very, very effectively. And actually, over here, Rhapsody gonna get caught out by Parasite, who will just teleport on out. So. That Codex doing some work for him. 326 GPM on the Parasite. And he just keeps upgrading this Codex. It's level 2, and he's got to have level 3 on the way or something, because he's got too much farm. He's had level it's 2 for a long time. It's been level 2 for a while, yeah. So he's got to have something else in the bank. I don't know if it's a puzzle block well, or actually, it's did, Codex. He, um, he bought back once, so that might That's, be where some of his money went. There's no way it was all of it. He's had a level 2 codex for like 10 minutes now. Yeah, 320 gold per minute. I would say it should be about level 3 or even 4 by now. Right. And hard to tell, of course, because the courier got killed, so I don't know if he actually has anything in his stash. Ancients here can be cleaned up by the Hellborn side as they're trying to claw back some of this gold lead. And Gauntlet's taking a lot of CS here. I'm not sure if I agree with it. I think they really need to give uh, Dr. Repulsor this farm. 
Yeah, it looks like. Has his health flower. Yep. And both Gauntlet and Repulsor here going for a health flower? Yeah, I was uh, just going to say that. What do you think? Do you agree with that? Chris, what you got? Uh, Let's go with him first. I don't know. Well, I like I like that Doctor's getting one. I don't know if they needed two per se. Um, I don't know what else Gauntlet could have gotten other than I, mean, I, I guess a, a BKB. Push book, BKB. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe even a bulwark. Uh, I really yeah, I think have some kind of there. team item would be good. I really wouldn't mind the shrunken on Doctor. The Hellborn is later. destroyed Gauntlet a just legion finish tower. Just finish the Hellflower. And if Doctor can get out of the kelp field without getting stunned, that'd be very, very nice. But bottom lane, they will start to push here as the Tempest minions split thanks to our attacking some creeps. The Legion had destroyed a Hellborn tower. So all tower. tier two towers killed by the Hellborn or for the Hell or Legion side or whatever, one of those teams, and the tier two in middle. In fact, the only outer tower remaining at all. And so Quincy, crazy. I want to ask you what you think about Malakin picking up a Thunderclaw. I, I think it. it's. I like that <laughs> item. I like that item, especially. I, I think it's the new one would be really good on the hero. I just. Man, more people should buy a Thunderclaw. Just buy it. Glacius, I, I remember that, Clancy. I remember that. Not in the Hunter Glacius should buy a Thunderclaw as they actually kill laser killing again. Man, this bubbles. What a feeder. He's got six deaths. That's Nymphora for you. Yep. Nymphora Doctor, rather. Oh, actually, they didn't even use the Doctor there. And they keep not doing that. Doctor has one icon charge. Like, if you're gonna get this item, yeah. you can't just farm. You gotta get hero kills. Nymph now level 12, so she has a level 2 ultimate, can take two people with her, and she's choosing, like, Kraken and Gauntlet instead of, or Parasite and Gauntlet instead of Doctor and on their first hero. Yeah, a little peculiar. I don't know. I mean, this icon's doing nothing, so it's basically 3,000 wasted gold. Considering you're already down, not really a great thing to be doing. Oh well. Doctor Stack and Ancients here. And both sides playing relatively passive at this point. Legion Ancients are awarded, so this will be the last stack they get to kill, unless they find that ward and kill it. And. Sporting again. Yeah, I was wondering where it was, but it's just the ancients. As for some reason, like, why would you bring? Why would you do that? Can you explain that to me? I don't know why that happened. I, I don't know. It seems like a, a waste, but it's only about a minute cooldown, so not the biggest deal. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. We haven't talked about Madman at all. He's, oh, no. He went for Energizer into Basher, and he's working on a Shrunken Head. I like his item build. I think the Basher's pretty good here. There's obviously anything they can do, they can do to lock down that Doctor and even the Kraken. Very, very valuable. Tempest has finished his Coral Key up, and it looks like Cog going to be the focus for this Legion team. We do have lots of vision. They've got a ward up here on the hill, just in case. And it looks like Hellborn might have actually spotted this. They have two people moving over, and yeah, Doctor's going to see that as he jumps in. Madman, obviously, with the ultimate. Very, very good for killing Congor. And that's going to be it. There's a top wave pushing in pretty heavily, actually. His Parasite's up here in a Hell Cannon. And, like, Legion want this Congor, but they're not doing it very quickly. And Nymph is going to counter this ward. So... Top tower is gonna fall in favor of Hellborn. The and Hellborn is gonna start working on these so They have to kill this Congor and get back. Cause this could be bad. Shellster's going off here to the side. They're spotting that out. And Neil's still in that. Oh my god, did he steal a token? Yep, Kraken's got the token. Tempest Ultimate goes down on to two. There are no cancels, and that's a couple of easy kills. Token immediately gone. Kraken gonna come right back, but release the Kraken, not gonna do nearly enough, so they got a couple of kills right there. And uh, Solar Club, nice token steal, but doesn't matter. And actually, Hank on the uh, Nymphora ended up with a Congar kill as well, so. Legion side get nothing out of that. Meanwhile, Bubbles gets killed by Parasite. And we're gonna see another teleport coming in from Madman. 
Parasite probably doesn't have to be worried about this. He can just man up. Basher, they're doing some work. Hell Cannon, trying to run away, but gonna run right into the entire Hellborn team, or Legion team, and there's another kill. So, that ended up being a bad direction to move. <coughs> And oh, I don't. I don't know if I agree with Parasite just staying top that entire time. Hellborn yeah. really wanted to defend the Congor, but they chose to do it four v five. And I Parasite mean, didn't even get the rack, so I don't know. They got the token and they got the Congor kill, so they did a pretty good job defending the Congor. Yeah, it was good that they got the got the token. I'm not sure if it was worth losing Doctor and Kraken, but uh, that wasn't bad. Nymphport coming in over here off to the side and. Nobody gonna be there. Madman finishing the shrunken head right there. So three shrunkens now on this Legion side, and Parasite's not gonna enjoy that. Another reason Codex build is a little bit sketchy. And actually, no, gonna be the jump here on a mountain with the Hellflower, and he's gonna be easily killed. No question, he's not getting away from that. And finally, they bring Doctor with a gank, so he's gonna get that gift of the goddess up to two icon charges now. Yay! So big. Uh, Malakin has no buyback. So, no Tempest Ultimate, no Malakin buyback. Can they just take Rax here? I think so. It's at half. Yeah, I don't know if Legion can stop this. Why was Parasite pulling so much gold? I just got uh, that. Axe. Oh, there you go. Sheep stick. And hook there on the Madman on the top of the Hellflower, plus the Dust of Relation goes off. But there's a Tempest coming in, and we see the Malakin or the Shrunken Head pop there on Madman, and Jesus, easy turn on to Gauntlet. And Doctor's out, and Forest dead. Yeah, so, that was kind of a questionable hook, it was just yeah. two of them. Like, there's, I think there's some communication problems. Like, why wasn't Doctor there, if they were going to do that? So, a little bit unfortunate there. I feel like they could have just taken the racks. Yeah, I thought they would. It seemed like they had an easy Rax, honestly, and I don't know. I mean, it's down to 380 health right now. It was even lower than that before. If they had just had Doctor and maybe even Gauntlet too, just pounding on it, like, would Legion have been able to counter? Because they can't really kill Doctor. Maybe they can kill Gauntlet, but definitely not before they take a Rax. Yeah, Malakin was down, and they didn't have Tempest Hole for about a minute, uh -huh. so... Speaking of Tempest, Bound Eye on him. So, I guess mostly for counter warding because there's not a ton of invis here for the Elgar side. Obviously Parasite and that Wild Hunter, but that's not going to be constant. I don't know, I don't really like the Bound Eye. Like, if they lose that, then Madman's in some trouble. So, speaking of which, Madman, okay the bottom lane, getting uh... a Hell Flower and killed pretty easily here. There's Parasite along with the Gauntlet and the Shora. Again, not bringing Doctor. I don't know what, what's See, up with but that. But Hellborn is doing exactly what they need to do. They're yeah. constantly making picks. Right. And that's what their team is supposed to do. Because, I mean, they're not going to win. They're not going to out carry a Malakin and a Madman right. with a. I just, like, they're getting picks, which is nice, but they're not really getting any now. Like, they're getting some gold, and that's cool, but they're not turning it into pushes. And Doctor's not getting icon charges, so he's not getting much more powerful as a result of these picks. That's true. So. I agree that this is exactly what they need to do, but, you know, objective-based gaming. They need to, they need do to make that, something happen. And then, right. <laughs> right, and then do that and then do something with it. Um, yeah, the reason why you pick up a Nymphora with a Doctor is it's similar to in the old days where you used to pick up a Pebbles with a Nymph. You just you take those two heroes and you they're always together, yeah. ganking and picking off heroes. They're not using it with the Doctor, they're using it with the Gauntlet. And like... What's Gauntlet going to do here? Okay, he's got the Hellflower and the Portal Key, that's great. What else is he going to do? How much more effective is he going to get with some more farm? I mean, Gauntlet's really, yeah, he's pretty much at his peak right now. Yeah. He's not going to get any more useful, really. Right, his burst damage is going to get worse, because people are going to tank up more. And Parasite continuing to push this bottom lane in, which is, again, great for him. 371 gold per minute. And, yeah, of course, keep having to defend this top. The other thing I consider, too, is now, mid racks got taken at, what, 23 minutes? So... Yeah, it was very early. Actually, Nymphport coming up top. Malakin could be in some yeah, trouble. They're baiting this, though. This too. They're baiting they're right this. There goes it. the Shrunken. And, oh, Nymph, you're in so much trouble. 
as I don't know if Kraken saw that coming or what, but he was just gone. But I don't know why Kraken went TP just the nymph, both of them, because they wouldn't have killed a Malakin yeah. just the two of them. Then you have a Hellflower. There's a word of sight too in the base. DC is that why? Oh yeah, Kraken Crack was a DC. He's just run, running right back base. That's interesting. But, so weird. But even then, they yeah. wouldn't have killed him. Right. And, like, you see this word of sight in the base? Shouldn't that have seen it? Weren't they all kind of sitting right on top of it? So that they could jump? I, yeah, I think, some of, I think some of them were. But I don't know, that was pretty weird. <laughs> Maybe Nymphora was the one who DC'd and not Kraken. And the computer took over tried to play Nymphbot. Kraken just got taken <laughs> along for the ride. <laughs> That would, wouldn't that be horrible? Like if you DC'd and it and the computer started playing for you, if you had a hero that has like a bot, that'd be terrible. <laughs> I could uh, I would imagine Madden having that in like the grand finals of Hauntur and <laughs> somebody DCs and the bots like gets a quad kill. We'd be permanently playing with a bot on our team because yeah. our mid player is always DC. Speaking of which, Madman trying to get the kill on Parasite bot. That was a mistake. He gets turned on as a nymph port comes in. This time Gauntlet and Kraken. Apparently his DC... No that man just keeps getting picked with bottom. He does. And they he's have a health already, so he knows he should, probably shouldn't be out there, especially when M4 is up. And M4 right. is level 16, so his ult is only like a minute cooldown. Right. Yeah, then he pulled out. So with the Madman pick, that looks like it's going to be turning into a bot push, but there's no Doctor here. And they have a Tempest Hole. The Parasite. They've got Kelp Field on Bubbles, obviously Malak and Ult, and Raps the ult, and so yeah, they can't push this. And Madman does have a buyback. Yeah. <laughs> Both couriers. What the hell, guys? When was well, the last time? By elementals. Yeah. When was the last time you even saw a courier kill? And Hellborn have lost two in this game. He's trying to find his blessed orb. It's, it's right there. <laughs> yeah, I, don't think he I know. Can see it. It's hard. Oh, there you go. He's got it. It's weird because, like, have you ever had that issue where it falls on the ground or something, and you right-click it, but it's in the woods? So even though yeah. you can get to it, yeah. it's like, no, I don't want to. Yeah, because you technically don't have sight on it because it's in fog. Right. Even though you actually see where it is. Very stupid. But Wait, how about the angels now? Yeah. And Congress will be back up soon as well. But anyway, uh, I mentioned it a little bit earlier. Mid racks were taken very early at like 23 minutes or whatever. That means there's been 17 minutes of creeps coming down the middle lane that give you a lot less bounty. And that's not very good when it comes to just light, layback and farming type games. So, I mean, that's going to make a pretty significant difference in terms of how much gold they're able to farm on the Hellborn side. Yeah, and you notice how I said Malkin just really isn't a very good hero at farming? Mm -hmm. He was at like 520 GPM, he yep. dropped down to 440. Yep. And you're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to go higher than more yeah. again. <laughs> Pretty sure that's the point. But yeah, that's absolutely true. Now again, not really doing all that well anymore. Doctor Pulsar, meanwhile, remaining basically static here, about 400 gold per minute. And they've got the Tempest Hole, so they want the vault push. Doctor here doesn't actually get silenced by the bubbles, as he basically disjointed it. And neither side really wanting to initiate. And you can understand why, because Hellborn are afraid of the Tempest Hole, and Legion don't want to waste it. There's a hook back onto Malak, is that going to be enough? Face Hulk goes down there, Tempest Hole, gotta cancel it a little faster than that. It's not going to matter here, is Parasite going to be able to live? He gets speared, that's going to be a death. Robson in the background gets picked off, no ultimate there. Gauntlet dying though, and Madman and uh, Malak are doing work here. Dr. Repulsor is in some trouble. He's getting bashed actually at the worst time right there. So Kendorf can die, has to buy back. Here come the Hellborn buybacks. That's going to do a whole lot. Madman going to chase in, and he's going to be the sacrificial lamb. He'll die, so the rest of his team can get away. And they're all going to back out as they force buybacks from all sorts of heroes here. Kraken wants to kill on the bubbles. I don't think that's going to happen. As they might actually even turn this around. Glacial Blaster down there, but a new 4 4 coming in, and Tempest is going to fall. There's one kill. Bubbles, portal keys away, but they don't have the chase, really. Everybody's out of mana. And Bubbles just going to TP away. Gauntlet Hook not going to be even close to connecting. Yes. And Bubbles will be fine. Picks up a Sheep Stick there as well. So, those are nice buybacks and a very good Nymphora port, but can they push this bottom lane? I don't think so. Like, this is bad. 
don't know. What do you guys uh, well, think? They have anything 50 seconds it? on uh, Tempest and Madman. Tempest doesn't have a hole. Yeah. Um, I think they'll at least get the tower. I don't know if they'll be able to take the racks before Madman's up. I mean, Malakin's alive. He's also got a buyback and an ultimate. Rhapsody ulti's there, so... We'll see. Hook from Gauntlet missing, so... Yeah, they are gonna get the tower, it looks like. Yar shouldn't be taking this tower for that one. Nope, and there's the hook. Or, sorry, not the hook. The Kelfield on it, too. There's a portal key away from Gauntlet, and Enforge can take the stun here. She's definitely gonna die. So they kill the tower, and they lose him for that's fine. Actually, no, fear goes on Gauntlet, unable to tell more, and he will die. So, a little unfortunate there. Malakin also not using the shrunken head. And Congor is back up, so that's gonna be their focus now. Gauntlet does have a buyback, and M4 doesn't, but it doesn't really matter. Should be easy Congor heal. Double double damage rune as well. And yeah, there's a DD if they see it. Yeah. Malakin gonna pick that up. Go pound some autos into Congor. So the art bought a Grimoire. Yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't know. I don't, really don't like that. Like even a Frost goes BKB. <laughs> uh, like they need BKB Congor on him. Has been slain. Yeah. Oh, shotgun ahead, not BKB. You can't buy a BKB in this game. Grimoire was way too greedy. Like you get yeah. Grimoire if you want to pick up like a farming item. And right. That's. Uh. Grimoire would have made sense instead of the icon. Considering yeah, I, play so. their I was gonna lineup. say if if he was to go Grimoire, I think it would have to be his first item. Otherwise, he should just shouldn't get it at all. This is gonna be bot Rex because for some reason Doctor is pushing top. I guess there's nothing he can really do, but this is just game now. If they're not gonna fight this. Corpax there, so I guess he's like Parasite's pushing his top racks, and he'll get it if yeah, he's got it. One more auto attack from the cannon. Legion barracks has been destroyed. That's nice, but bashed yeah, out of the hell cannon. Yeah. yeah, and you no know, Parasite can be a lot of trouble. He will drop. The bashes from Madman are real. So that item doing work. I don't think Madman needed the BKB there though. No. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely not. Maybe he was afraid of the doctor or something coming in. They saw him push top lane, so perhaps they're like, hey, if he keeps pushing and he jumps in and hits me with the opposite charges, then they could turn, but... I don't know. Yeah, even then, he would have had team support, so yeah. yeah. I don't... He definitely didn't need to use that there. I think Madman's next item should be a Hellflower. Yeah, Bad. definitely. No Shrunken, no Nullstone on Dr. Repulsor. He can just jump in there and kill him. Refresher, too, on Tempest. So... Gonna be double going to be bottom max. Tempest ult. And yeah, they're gonna get that, so. Okay, we two racks down here. And they're countering bot racks. Legion side, they don't have. Legion barracks has been destroyed. No, they do. They're just not using him. Malakin, excuse me, does not have a port. And neither does Bubbles. And Tempest, did he just cancel his television? Yeah, yeah, so they're just going to take top. They're just going straight for the win here. Okay, well, they're all in. I don't know why. Why did Hellborn back? There. They could have taken at least mid tier 2. Like, they should have seen that there aren't any forts on Malakin or Bubbles, and they need those heroes to fight. So they could have taken at least mid tier 2 tower. There's a double mega wave for Legion going mid, because the, the creeps from bottom that spawned got pulled to middle. That's actually pretty yeah. funny. And we're going to have a climactic fight here, I think. This is going to decide the game. Malakin has tokens, so... Yeah. Oh, the Legion are definitely in favor here. Actually, it There's might not. There's buybacks everywhere, so... Four, four, win four this catapults fight. middle, <laughs> and like... The almost shrine. like eight or ten creeps, yeah. And Those they're, towers are They're not doing anything here. Finally, they're gonna jump, but not in the background. Malakin's gonna be fine. I'm gonna work on the rabbits. Anyway, Tempest ultimate going down. It's not gonna be cancelled. Kelfield's second Tempest ultimate. Well, that was horrible. That was unbelievably horrible. Yeah. But they were, they were forced. They were being pressured to go in. Like, it was now right. better. But just, it was it wasn't going to turn out well for them. They had to force it. I, I agree. They had to force it. But, like, you can still, you can have to force things and still have them go okay. That was... Yeah. Poor people got caught in a Tempest ultimate. And, or whatever. And then double Tempest ultimate, so... Okay. Well, 
Cafe it's Champions. definitely game over. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's, uh, Tiger Freak and game, so let's put you both there. And that was an interesting game for many reasons. Uh, anyway, final thoughts there, what you got? Yeah, Doctor's items just... <laughs> I, got pro I got proved wrong about the icon. But I don't, I don't even know, I think they just played it wrong too. Yeah. Not using the Nymphora with the Doctor. And they just chose to, you know, keep ganking with Gauntlet instead. And then, um, they gave... I don't know, that, that throw middle where they lost the Rex, that was honestly very big, in my opinion. That just yeah. really, like, toned the momentum for how the game went after that. So Hellborn was just playing catch up, and you can't play catch up against a Tempest Madman and a Maligan. So, so well played from Legion. Yep. Beer got I think. Thoughts, right? I think that a. Uh, I don't think Paris should have gone on Codex at all that game. Yes. <clears throat> I think he needed a puzzle box, and Doctor Repulsor's items. Uh, they weren't making anything happen with the icon, so. I don't know. I don't know. But I mean, Legion was getting picked off fairly, like a good amount by the MTPs. It just wasn't with a Doctor Repulsor. Yeah. And I actually walked away for a little bit, so I didn't see the Congor fight <laughs> or any of that. So. You quitting on me, man? What the hell? <laughs> Parasite was top in a Hell Cannon, pushing Rax by himself, yeah. and then Le Legion was just five in Kong. And then Hellborn jumped, stole the token, but they fought a 4v5, and Parasite didn't even get the rack, so... Oh. It's kind of like, I don't know, it kind of evened itself out, sort of, but... Yeah. Alright, well, that'll do it for game one, and we'll...